You good? Huh? Come out and say hello. Say bye-bye. Come here. Come say hello. To look at him now, it's hard to imagine that the life of this lovable pit bull mix hung in the balance not that long ago. Petey came to us with a, a very large tumor, a lot of mass effect on his brain, and probably had a couple weeks to a month left to live. It was the bout of seizures that first alarmed Petey's owner, Alex Frame. At first I thought it was from overexertion from walking, because they always seem to come on shortly after a walk. Petey eventually ended up at the University of Georgia College of Veterinary Medicine. And they did an MRI and found that he had a very, very large brain tumor that went from basically almost the back of his skull straight through to the front. It was kind of almond shaped, uh, but it was really, really large and was putting a lot of pressure on the brain and that's what was causing the, uh, the seizures. Luckily for Petey, UGA had partnered with Emory neurosurgeon Dr. Kostas Hajipanias to test an experimental tumor fighting treatment. I need to give Dr. Simon Platt credit here. He's the canine neurosurgeon at the University of Georgia, so he actually did the surgery. I was there with our team and we helped um, uh, implant the catheters where we infuse the tumor directly with the uh, therapeutic agent that we've developed. The agent that Hajapanias and his team of researchers at Winship Cancer Institute had been working on combines an existing tumor-fighting antibody called cetuximab with magnetic iron oxide nanoparticles. The resulting therapy has not only shown to be more effective at shrinking brain tumors, but... We can actually see the nanoparticle by MRI scan and confirm that it's in the tumor. And that is huge because now you know it's, it's in there, so, you know, let's see if it's going to have an effect. Uh, there's so many therapies that, you know, have been tried out in, in preclinically and in the patients where the drug never gets there. It never reaches its target. And I think that's frustrating because um, how are you going to know the drug works if it never gets there? Conventional chemotherapies have had limited effect on brain tumors because of the so-called blood-brain barrier. Unlike other parts of the body where blood vessels are more permeable, the brain's neural network is structured to block foreign substances from seeping into critical areas. However, when cetuximab is combined with the magnetic nanoparticles, it seems to have no problem getting to the tumor. I think my patients uh, appreciate the fact that I do have a research background and understand about some of the latest therapies and, and, and they know that I'm doing my best to treat them in the most advanced way possible. Further studies are needed before this treatment can be used on human cancer patients, but for now dogs like Petey are helping to advance the field of cancer research. We only expected them to live about six months even with the procedure. The more we think about it, the more I realize what a great thing this has turned out to be. The ability to, to generate new technologies and treatments is, is so important for us to stand out from the rest of the crowd. I mean, I think um, that's really what positions Emory Healthcare to be the leader here in the southeast and nationally. Maybe this will hopefully come to a cure for, for brain tumors or at least a very viable treatment for brain tumors for people that wasn't available before. This video was made possible by generous donations from Emory Healthcare employees and the community. To make a gift that makes a difference to patients and families, please call 404-712-GIVE. Thank you.